utter mayhem. And alongside me is my trusted analyst, Mark Z. How did we get here? Well, Dash, if you look back on it, it really started with NA's decision to play only one international tournament in 2017, which was Rift Rivals in July. They said they were going to focus on the biggest international event against our fiercest rivals and let those other guys like Korea and China scrap over the smaller tournaments like Worlds. Well, we've actually got a clip of NA's dominance, so let's go ahead and roll that now. Holy crap! Incredible vision by NA! Warm up the bus! Fire up the boat! Get the plane on the tarmac! We're sending EU to lose town! I think Riv was actually understated in his call. Here's another clip where Pastry gives N.A. the full unbiased casting treatment. Haunter on Jarvan plants the stars and stripes firmly into the heart of European territory. Here comes Bjergsen, the Danish font of freedom, roaring like a glorious bald eagle into battle. Holy pancakes, Batman! It's full on panic and pastries for the Europeans. The locals, they're loving it. Finally on the right side of the Atlantic. Here's Double If now, the true American hero, leaping in under orders from General Parthen. The message here is clear. GG easy! And we can see it from there. NA stomps on EU at Rift Rivals, and they go inactive for seven months, forgoing the international scene and just lavishing in the spoils of their success. Right, and success is poison. Canadians and Americans have turned on each other, arguing over who will get the credit, and the rest is history. Well, I think it's safe to say that the first blood was drawn on the dive. Let's roll that clip now. That's a wrap. Great episode today, guys. Yeah, I like that one. I mean, I think the episode was fine, but you, Kobe, you kind of ruined it at the end by interrupting the outro. Ruined? Yeah. I mean, your, your outro was garbage. I was trying to spice it up, add a joke. Maybe I wouldn't have to. Spice it, it up? It wasn't shit. Watch that again. It was a tragedy. And when you try to add to the outro, you hurt the show. The show? Yes, you Me hurt the Zell show. Me and Zell have been carrying this show since day one. You know, you and know you what? know it. You think you've been carrying the show. I could beat you in League of Legends. We'll see who's carrying oh, the show I'll then. take that. What are yeah. you, Platinum? I beat you last time we played a show All match. Right. Go watch Black Market Rollers. If you can beat me, then I will never interrupt you ever again. Damn straight. Azale, you got my back? Azale, hello? I'm sorry, Kobe, you're my friend, but the Canadian Honor Code clearly states that Canadians cannot raise their hand against a fellow Canadian. He was born in California. Canadian. I'm sorry, Kobe. Canadians don't let details stand in the way of their civic duty. I stand with Jet. Well, there you have it. Battle lines have been drawn, and players have chosen their sides. I would say that I stand with Kobe and uh, Team USA. I stand with Jet for Team Canada. Uh, no, I obviously stand with uh, Team Canada and Jet. I stand with Kobe and Team USA because I live in America, I breathe American air, and I am, in fact, an American. I stand with Jet for Team Canada. What kind of question is that? Of course I'm with Kobe and Team USA. I'm American. I was born and raised in California. To be honest, I like USA more, but for Canadian stuff, I gotta, you know, rep, rep the hometown. I gotta rep Toronto, you know. I gotta rep Canada. I stand with Team Canada. Yeah. I stand with Kobe and Team USA because Canada sucks. I stand with the USA team because Canadians are just too nice. It's, it's just not realistic. We have better money. You know, they provide free health care and everything there. So, you know, Jack's going to take care of me. You know how American money is like paper? We have like this plastic money that's really, really nice. They suck because they have an imported mid laner and uh, our bottom line is 10 times better. Free health care, you know, we have maple syrup. Like, what's not to like? You know? It's like this nice plastic, so it doesn't rip, it doesn't tear, it doesn't look like it's been through some abuse, um, like a lot of American money, so we got better money. And Mark, I've got to ask you, and no flip-flopping here, are you hashtag Team Jet or are you hashtag Team Kobe? Look, I am trying to remain an objective party, so I think, yeah, Canada has some legitimate beef here, and quite frankly, I'm angry. Well, I, I've seen it. I know you're angry, but the question is, what is it? Is it the format? Is it, you know, yeah. roster decisions or... I feel like League Ops has completely dropped the ball and haven't supported this civil war at all. Where are the rules? Where are the roster deadlines? This is a shamble of a show and League Ops is asleep at the wheel doing other stuff like legitimate rulings and engaging with the community. All right, I, well, here's the thing. I think it's this guy that you have beef with. That's NALCS Commissioner Chris Greeley. Here he is, sped up at three times speed to look particularly silly. And he, I, Mark, but really, can you be mad at this guy? I know you got questions. I mean, but come on, he's just... 
all sped up and they're, they're stopping the wave and the and the That really makes me and matter. It's like pretty adorable. No, that they, makes me I, matter and I want answers. All right, well, I'm going to cut you off there. Let's get to the source of some of your frustrations. Let's look at Team Canada and Team USA rosters, starting with Hooney playing in the mid lane for Canada. Yeah. What the f is that? Well, we actually have footage of Jat and Azale inducting him into honorary citizenship just moments ago. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Oh, nice. Good job, eh? Good job, Canadian now, eh? You killed it. How, how is that even legal? Oh, I looked how it up. In the Canadian bylaws, that is actually a legitimate path to citizenship. So he is officially Canadian nice as of Canada. this moment. Then there's Team USA, who submits an incomplete roster listing a mystery player. Right, right. right. Well, what do we know about this guy? Not much at all. I mean, he rose to prominence in the Topeka League, but even then, his champion is pixelated, so there's not too much to tell. I mean, he dominated Lane in Pete's Town Winter League, and he led the league in kills, running it down the Bahama circuit. But aside from that, we don't know anything about this guy. Sounds like we know quite a bit about this guy. No, not, not enough. Well, we do know that it was Freak who's behind all of this nonsense, and he's the one who recruited the USA mid laner and the one who submitted the incomplete roster. He's standing by with our Avali May now. Thanks, guys. I am joined by the United States of America's head of esports, Freak. Tell me, how did you go about obtaining a position like this? Well, it all started about 31 years ago, March 16th, 1987. I was born, and the world became a better place. I was born in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. And throughout the years, I became the greatest gamer of all time, not just as a player, but as a forward thinker, as, as a creator of greatness. And I realized that the way that I should make a mark on the world of esports was leading the greatest team to ever exist in League of Legends from North America, Team USA. And so I realized that I should be coaching Team USA and make them the greatest esports team of all time in League of Legends and all other esports. These guys could win in anything because Team USA is the best team in all of esports. And that's what I've been doing for the last 31 years is coaching the greatest League of Legends team the USA has ever seen in the world. Now there's a lot of buzz about this mystery mid laner. What can you tell me about him? Don't worry about it. Don't, like, me don't worry about it or the fans don't worry about it because he's gonna be amazing? Don't worry about it. I freak, you know, I, I feel like Just I don't, should- Don't worry about it. That's, that's not r that great of an answer. Freak, are you, are you crying? You're, you're crying. Freak, I'm not you're crying. You're crying. <laughs> Stop crying. What about, this interview, or maybe <laughs> mid laner is so upsetting. Are you okay? It's, it's just going to be so beautiful. Our, all right, Dash, beautiful. we're not getting much from here. Um, back to you guys at the desk, sorry. This is the type of poppycock that you get when someone like Christopher Greeley basks in their riches. USA is fielding a dirty bird in the mid lane, a one trick in the jungle, and a top laner who's best known for being a sidekick on Trooper's bloopers. It wasn't that Nick Wu. That's exactly my point. Meanwhile, Canada tries to make Azale and Jat look like a passable top side of the map after a fraudulent citizenship ceremony turns Hooney as a capable mid laner. And damn it, where the hell is League Ops in all this? I can't I, take it anymore, wait, James. Wait, Screw it. No, Mark, no, Mark, Mark, don't go out there. It's anarchy, please. It's chaos! Oh. Well, I've never been on, alone on the analyst desk before. But that's okay. This is a situation that you can navigate. All right, let's be honest. honest. This, this is actually, actually a moment that you've wanted your entire career on platform to say whatever you want to say. You've been here. You've done that. All right, this is just a walk in the park, a monologue, if anything. I mean, it's what you've wanted your whole life. You're an actor. You were an actor. You went to Tish for God's sake. It's you! Hey! I heard you were letting things go to shit here, so I figured I'd grace your analyst closet with my presence. Well, it's a desk. It's a desk! Well, it's a pleasure to have you. Everyone, this is uh, Dark Dash. Better Dash. That's debatable. But let's go ahead and turn our attention to the biggest matchups of the evening, shall we? Yeah, a perfect place to start would be our not featured matchup, uh, which pits a washed up old world champion in another sport versus a washed up observer. I mean, what better shit show could you ask for than these two slinging it at each other in the top lane, am I right? Well, a, a pointed and critical analysis and, and factual, to be honest. But right. um, what about Jat versus Kobe? These are the, you know, the two players at the center of the feud returning to the jungle. Could be an interesting- No. No? No, that sounds boring.
Okay, uh, Sneaky versus uh, Smoothie, former teammates now against each other in the... No. Shut up, because I'm bored and I think I can save the sinking ship. Here we go, cameras to me. Time for things that people really care about. First up, overreactions. Dash is a passable host. Uh, <laughs> how do I even uh, begin to answer, even if that were a legitimate question, I don't even, overreaction. Next up, over under, Dash is good at this. <laughs> it's not even how over under works. Under. Next, here's one I know you'll get wrong, so I'm gonna try and help you out here. This one's dark stats, and since you're so bad at these, I'm gonna give you multiple choice. All right, the question is, how many people on this desk actually know what they're talking about? Is it A, dark dash, B, dark dash, or C, all of the above. Uh, uh, Wrong. Uh, Next, win conditions. Um, Get a new host and NA instantly gets better. Okay, you know what? I, I think it would be a good time. This is a good time to go ahead and send it uh, out to the casters. Let's send it to the casters. I can't handle this. I'm getting You know what? Fine. Casters, take it away. Oh, oh now we gotta put on the way. Casters, take it away. Oh, as if you could do anything. I got this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's send it over to the casters to get us into this sure to be exciting and very eventful game. All right, that was pretty good. Thank you, Dark Dash, you handsome devil, you, and welcome to the premier gaming event of the next decade, one that will be charted in every history book known to man. My name is Clayton Captain Flowers Reigns, joined by my unbiased reporter of all things U.S., I mean N.A., Aiden Zyrene Moon. Absolutely, and of course, N.A., best country in the whole world. Absolutely. You best be believing it right now. We're going to go ahead and send things down to Riv to welcome the teams fighting for their nation's pride. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the NALCS, tonight is a night of pride and glory. On the road to greatness, we try to be civil, but there are times when we must fight a war. Welcome to the North American LCS Civil War! Please join me in welcoming your teams populating their regions tonight. On the top side, Welcome, Canada! <laughs> Strength of the Moose. The Lumberjack. The Mountie. Structure on ice in the hockey. And the beautiful dressings. The man of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, your Team Canada! them for liberty, freedom, and victory. Team USA! USA, 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 USA. The uncle, controlling the youngsters, flying high, bringing liberty in. Our bearded friends, oh my. Cash money himself and the wild, wild west. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your Civil War competitors! <laughs> gentlemen, take your seats! Now, I noticed they had Eagle Sneaky. They had Coach Medios on stage with four of the players, but Zyrene, we're still not seeing this mystery USA representative in the mid lane. How much longer are we going to have to wait before that identity is finally revealed? Well, not long. Let's take another look at those starting lineups here. And of course, on the red side in the north, it's going to be Canada. In the top lane, they have the Swain Gretzky top laner himself, Azale. In the jungle, it's going to be the Lumberjack, Jat. In mid lane, it's going to be the superstar Canadian mid laner, Hooney, with Wild Turtle on AD Carry. And Smoothie, who replaced his body surgically with a maple leaf, as the support and coach, Romain. Scary looking team coming out of that border to the north. And now let's look at the other team. On the blue side, it's Team USA with Clicky D in the top lane. Kobe in the jungle. What in the world? The LCS Pigeon, Ooh. the mystery mid laner for Team USA, making his return from spring in Vancouver. Sneaky bottom, Afro Moose support, and Coach Medios leading him to victory. Man, even though Afro is looking like a whole bunch of money right now, that mid laner LCS Pigeon, I can't believe they got it. That is actually insane. We have not seen this guy since Vancouver, since 2017 Spring Finals. We're closing in on a year away from this now. He's been in hiding. He's been recluse. He's been hidden from the rest of the world, from the League of Legends competitive stage. Hello, Mr. Pigeon. Hello, Coach. Uh, hello.
Hey team. Hey pigeon. Uh, does LCS pigeon sound like Jensen to you guys? What the hell, Kobe? Kobe? What the hell? Bro, that's our mid laner, man. Pigeon. Oh, I, I don't know. It's just remarkably oh, relax, close. Bro. Right before the match, man, you just piss him off. I am pigeon. I am not Jensen. Green. I gotta tell you, I'm not familiar with the pigeon to human year conversion, but the skill and talent on this guy alone, the years don't matter. You are gonna be up against a sheer force of nature if you're playing against this guy on the rip. And you can hear it, the crowd already rocking for the pigeon there. How can you not love this guy? That is crazy. I heard he once solo killed Faker four times before level two. Before level Before two. Before level two. Before Faker's level two? Absolutely. Now he's going up against the Canadian mid lane superstar, Hooney. And Hooney used to play with Faker. I feel like he might have gotten some tips. But right now, he can't let that spook him because the Pigeon might be on point today. You can see on your screen right now, Kobe, the only player on stage today to hold two Olympic gold medals. Yeah, and recently got an Oscar from what I heard. But I don't know if that... Is that Kobe Bryant? That's the only Kobe we have fun stats about. <laughs> we have other fun stats here, just like their top laner, Clakey D. He's actually observing this game while he's playing it. And one of the things that you need to give him credit for, and Reddit has given him credit for many times, is they actually attribute Clakey D with observing every LCS game while maintaining his directing duties. I've seen it myself. The man's a monster, but is he monster enough to take on a world champion in the top lane. Now granted, Azale's a world champion in a different game, so maybe it doesn't directly translate, and he does look an awful lot like a moose right now, so I don't know how good hooves or whatever mooses have are at playing League of Legends, but he's definitely got a strong opponent there. Well, there's a reason that they called him the Swain Gretzky of the top lane, because he has been going crazy. The moose may be on the loose today for Azale. Moose on the loose in the top lane up against the Observer King himself. You can just see the look in Sneaky's eyes. Absolute focus of a bald eagle preparing to go on the hunt. He's looking for those Canadian players. Talons outstretched. Eagle screech ready to go. Majestic wings fully out on the air. Or the, the wingspan. The wingspan. That's words I'm looking for. Like an albatross. <laughs> yeah. An albatross doesn't have that same feeling of majesty to it, though, Zyrene. Mm. Say albatross, and I think of golf. Say ball. Oh, golf? Yeah. It's a golf thing. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's like a birdie and an eagle. Speaking of birdie, albatross. But that's the birdie we're talking about, and that's the birdie the crowd is talking about, too. Let's go, Pigeon! Let's go, Pigeon! Let's go, Pigeon! The players are still getting Wait. ready and into the lobby. Wait, Listen to that? those calls. Listen to those noises. The crowd echoing the chant of the pigeon, the battle coup here in the player lobby. Team Canada already starting off with their customary war cry as well, prolifically apologizing in the all chat as we get ready to enter the game. I'm seeing so many sorries, you don't even know who they're being attributed to anymore, but Team USA just not responding with enough spam to combat the sorry. It seems to be a little bit like Morse code. They're actually asking each other what they're going to play, and they're communicating with the number of sorries, whether it's long or short. This is the Canadian code in the all chat. Let's get into champion select for the Civil War. Team USA on the blue side, Team Canada on the red. How are they gonna go about the bands? What are they gonna pick? Remember, some of these guys come from an age long past. When you're looking at names like Clakey D and Kobe, we might see some off meta picks coming in. And right now, Team USA taking the Udir away from Jat. Yeah. Really respecting that. Lumberjat is pretty much.